my name is Aaron Matthews, and uh, I'm a McDowell local here in Marion. Um, we have been in town for a little over three years now, and recently we uh, upped our menu a little bit and added wood-fired pizza to the menu. So we have uh, a brick oven, uh, which is only wood-fired. We have to build a fire in it every day and get it nice and hot, and then we can cook pizza and flatbread and any number of things in there. Roast garlic in there, which you can smell up and down the street, it's delicious. Uh, Wood-fired was new for me. Uh, I've done pizza before, uh, I've made a lot of pizza before, but uh, what I've found is I like this experience a little bit more because it's a little more um, primal. Uh, actually cooking with fire, you don't get to do that a whole lot anymore if you're not in the woods. So I, I enjoy that aspect of it a lot. Um, I mean, playing with fire is fun anyway, but getting to actually cook with it is, is really nice. So. I would I would say that there is definitely some artistry involved. You, you do need to be able to identify steps along the way, and, and that's just a matter of doing it. You, I've done it for years. I started making pizza in some capacity in 1997 at my father's pizza up in Black Mountain. And, um, and everything from making the dough to making the sauce and, and shredding the cheese uh, to actually cooking it and paying attention to when something was done and the correct proportions for toppings on the pizza. Um, every, every oven's a little different. Every batch of dough's a little different. Um, every bag of flour is a little different, so it's not something you can just jump into on a Tuesday and start throwing out pizzas on a Wednesday. It takes, it takes some experience, and um, over the years you learn what does and doesn't work and the best way to, to get around issues or mistakes you've made, which every batch of dough is different and sometimes you make mistakes, um, or I make mistakes. Pizza is one of those things that ends up um, in every town, everybody has some. Um, you've got your corporate pizza places, and then you've got your small pizza places. Um, for me, it was more about diversifying the menu and adding something to it that we're even more personally involved in on a daily basis. We do a lot of stuff in-house already. We do most things in-house already. Uh, but this is something that literally we make every part of it from scratch, except for the actual cheese, which if I had time, I probably would. As much as um, the last year and a half was hard for everyone, um, one thing that I was, was able to focus on was the fact that we had such a great customer base and a great community. Um, and while we felt it like everyone else felt it, it could have been so much worse. And I'm really appreciative about that. Um, I'm, I'm thankful every day that I have a place that I can come and, and do what I do for the people I do it for. And uh, I, have a good, I have a genuinely good time at work, which I'm not sure a lot of people can say. Um, I like the people I work with, I like the people who work for me, and I like, I like the town, so. That's, that's one of the reasons why McDowell Local, I think, is, is doing what we're doing and why we're doing it.